Tom Osborne. Dr. Blix, uh, recent investigations uh, of the Iraqi uh, weapons have revealed a prototype plan uh, that uh, they had to create a nuclear device which could be detonated. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about that and uh, what uh, basically it reveals to you? Are you surprised by this, uh, this design plan? And um, how quickly could they assemble it? Well, we were not uh, surprised by it. Uh, Iraq must have been spending money in the billion dollar range uh, for the enrichment program. And since they do not have nuclear power or are planning it in the short run, it was very hard to see any plausible, peaceful explanation for it. And uh, seeing the track record of Iraq, uh, then it was rather easy to guess that there must have been an attempt to be, make a nuclear weapon. Until recently, we had not found any uh, designs, um, although we were looking for them. But uh, we have now the six inspection team sent by the IEA uh, managed to get hold of documents which clearly uh, showed this. We have not found hardware indicating that they, uh, or a bomb fashioning of a bomb, but uh, enough of design and documentation to demonstrate that there was an advanced program. And in fact, the Iraqis are also declaring and that they were engaged in this, that there was research for this, that there was development work, but what they're saying is that there was not a political decision to make a bomb. So we were not surprised uh, about this finding. But, sir, then that leads us to the uh, question of procurement and suppliers. Um, we know that there are many lists now available and that uh, the, uh, the Special Commission is, has those in its charge. Uh, many people feel that those lists should be made public, and I realize it's going to take some time before you can sort out what mm. is innocent and what is not. Mm. Can you tell us or give us any indication when these lists will be made public? Well, we have taken some 45,000 documents in Arabic, and uh, we have, are now engaged in an effort to catalog those and to decide which are the most interesting ones, which are to be translated fully, and which are to be scanned, and uh, it will take uh, some time. Our impression is that... Uh, Although there, are, there is material about uh, procurement, much of this is uh, trivial. I mean, a uh, country will import uh, light bulbs and tables and typewriters and whatnot, and that's not terribly interesting. However, we who are responsible for uh, efforts to prevent proliferation of nuclear weapons, we have absolutely no interest in shielding any suppliers who have been engaged in, in uh, selling uh, sensitive material, perhaps in transgression of national procedures. So when we get uh, the material translated, uh, we will uh, make that public. We are not going to shield any corporation. We are also, even before that, uh, showing the material to governments in countries uh, where such uh, corporations have been operating. It can be a question of um, certainly weeks will, will be before we have a full picture, and we will not like to to uh, publish it uh, dropwise, we'd rather have a, a fuller picture before we do it. If I make uh, just sure. one, the sure. program is World Chronicle. Our guest is Hans Blix, Director General of the International Atomic Energy Agency. Tom, you have another question. Just quickly, um, sir, will this be left in the hands of the IAEA, the UN uh, Security Council, to reveal this, or will you leave it in the hands of the governments who may not wish to have this revealed? No, uh, as things stands now, the material is in our hands, and it is for us to decide uh, what and when we shall publish. Uh, we are, of course, under a mandate of the Security Council, and if the Council were to give us some directives, then we would have to follow them. But in absence of such uh, directives, uh, it would be my attitude that we should publish publish anything relating to export of sensitive material. Without waiting for the, the okay of the, of the government? Yes. Raghida Dehan. Dr. Blix, a few weeks ago you held a press conference.